Paris Adventure. The melody key takes the children to Paris. Why can't they find the Eiffel Tower? Today we're in a book called Paris Adventure in the Offer Reading Tree Series. This is day 6-13 and the series is created by Robert Cudd and Alex Brickner. Let's go right into it. The children were doing a project on France. Mrs. May showed them some pictures of Paris. Mrs. May showed them a picture of the Eiffel Tower. It looks very tall, said Biff. After school, Mom came to meet Biff and Chip. Biff found a picture of Paris. We are doing a project on France, she said. Later, Nadim and Anina came to play with Biff and Chip. Anina had a model of the Eiffel Tower. I know, said Chip. Let's paint the French flag. He got the big sheet of paper and they began to paint it. Suddenly, the magic key began to blow. It was time for an adventure. Oh no, said Biff. I wanted to finish painting the flag. The magic took them back in time. It took them to a busy town. There were no cars, said Chip. There, this must be a long time ago. I know where we are, said Biff. We are in Paris. Look at all the flag. Nina was excited. We can go and see the Eiffel Tower, she said. The children looked for the Eiffel Tower, but they couldn't find it. Are you sure that it's Paris? asked Chip. Now they asked a policeman. Do you know where the Eiffel Tower is? he asked. The Eiffel Tower, said the policeman. There is no such thing. And Nina asked the lady, Do you know where the Eiffel Tower is? She asked. The Eiffel Tower, said the lady. There is no such thing. I know why we can't find the Eiffel Tower, said Biff. It hasn't been invented. Just then they saw a man. He was pulling a cart. Will you help back the man? I can't get the cart up this step. The children helped the man pull the cart into a hall. The man pulled a sheet off the cart. This is my motto, he said. What is it? asked Nadim. It is a torch, said the man. It will be taller than all the houses in Paris. People will see it for miles. Here is a picture. It will look like this. The children looked around the hall. There were lots of models. It's a competition, said Chip. I know which one will win. The Eiffel Tower. But I can't see the Eiffel Tower, said Nadim. Some people began to look at the models to see which was the best. Everyone will see my torch for miles, said the man. At night the top will light up like this. You plug in the torch. There was a loud bang. The top of the torch blew off. Then it fell over with a crash. Ah, said the man. It needs a little work. Nina had an idea. She began to lift the broken torch. Help me, everyone, she said. The children turned the torch upside down. What does it look like to you? asked Anina. It looks like the Eiffel Tower, said Biff. She spoke to the man. Excuse me, she said. Why not make the torch into a tower? Excuse me, said Anina. But is your name Eiffel? Brilliant, said the man. Brilliant. This time the magic key began to blow. I wonder if that was... Monsieur Eiffel, said Biff. And it was how the Eiffel Tower was invented, said Nadim. Okay, that was the book I read. Even it was short, we learned how the Eiffel Tower was invented. Maybe lots of people know that, but I just read it. And in the Aqua Reading Tree series, we have the audiobook Tennis Adventure, Dutch Adventure, and Egyptian Adventure. So please check that out too. And I hope I can see you in the next one. Take care.